Your counterclaim is for harassment. It's for defamation of character, harassment, mental and emotional distress. Well, I know. I know. I'm mentally and emotionally distressed today. I have the tail end of a cold and I'm really not feeling terrific. So I want you to show me or tell me what he did or said that was so outrageous and egregious as to rise to the level of an actionable claim. Okay, I'll start with my husband passed away and I went to the funeral home. I'm already distraught and they asked me if I want to go back and view my husband's body and I can't mentally bear that. So they said, well, his father's outside. You being the wife, you have to agree to let his father go back. And I'm thinking, okay, that's his father. I, I would, of course, want him to see his son one last time. Had I known that the plaintiff was going to go back just to take a picture of my husband to torture me. This picture of my husband to torture me and tell me that I was accused. Uh, he was accusing me of my husband's death. Did you take a photograph of your son? I did. Why? I saw him born. I wanted to see, the, see him leave. What did you do with the photograph? I still have it on my phone. Did you publish it anywhere? No, I did not publish it. I mean, when I say publish it, did you put it on a Facebook page? Did you no, put it anywhere else? How did you get a copy of it? He sent it to me and said you have to sleep with what you cause to your husband. May I see this? Where did you send this to her phone? I didn't send it to her phone. I didn't. I didn't post it. I have a text message in my phone from his number no, no, in no, my you, phone. But you sent it to her phone. Yes, ma'am. I just want to know who you are. Well, he's published it, but to you, that's not generally published. He continued to harass me and told me he was going to come to my house and get belongings that belonged to him. I got a police report for harassment. Just tell me what the harassment was. Um, he kept he kept calling my phone. My phone is full of threats. Um, he's my, I'm your worst nightmare, although I'll let court handle it. You were involved in my son's death, and I'm going to the district attorney. He called DHR on me and told them that I neglected my children, I abused my children. They come to my house, closed the investigation, continued to harass me. That's why I got the police report. I had a temporary restraining order against him for three days. But then you went to court after three days, and they had a hearing, and they denied your application for a permanent restraining order, I assume. It was only for three days. He left me alone, and I moved across. Town so you I was, didn't go to, back to court? No, did not go back to court. Okay. I was in fear of the plaintiff's actions because he's a very scary man, and I had proof of where I had to move and get away from him. Your Honor. What? I only went to her residence one time. How many times did you call her? Maybe two. So if she showed me her phone log, her phone log would say that she only received two phone calls from your number? As far as I know, ma'am, yeah. What I do don't... you mean as far as I know? That's Means somebody been, else could have used your phone? Months. I can't. Well, two was two. Could it have been 20? Uh, no, ma'am. Could not have been 20? No, ma'am. Okay. So the picture that you sent of your son when you identified his body, is the defendant correct that you were asked to identify the body because she couldn't go in? She was the next of kin. I was not asked. I actually went that day and talked to the detective about the case and asked where my son was. And? I went to Barry Hill Funeral Home, talked with Mr. Barry Hill. Mr. Barry Hill did not call Ashley. He actually called and got her sister, Sheena, and Sheena's the one that told Barry Hill that I could see the body. Okay. So you went to see the body, and my question then to you is you took a photograph for whatever ridiculous reason one would take this kind of a photograph. Why did you send it to her phone? I was upset because I still believe that she had something to do with my son's demise. What do you mean she had something to do with it? You mean she had something to do with it because she actually committed a crime or because the two of them were fighting and that's why he committed suicide? Ma'am, she stated to the detective that he took 30 blue pills, which I'm thinking is uh, Xanax 5. Listen to me. From where he... Took what those did he pills, die from? Where he took those pills five miles away is where he was struck by a train. I don't believe he could walk five miles. So he took pills. Yes, ma'am. And the cause of death was? Blunt force trauma. But well, that's, says, from the, that's from the train. He was hit by a train. So I'm going to say this to you, Mr. Lamont. You're leaving court today successfully, recovering your $250 that you actually loaned by virtue of a promissory contract note that you have with her. You're leaving with nothing else. 